We all love it when shop equipment works exactly like it's supposed to. But what happens when it doesn't? Take ADOS calibration systems, for example. Most of them will guide you through step-by-step step the entire procedure. However, what happens when you don't prepare ADOS calibration the right way, triggering a malfunction light or worse, a customer comeback? In this video, we talk about how to diagnose issues early to avoid faulty or incomplete ADOS calibrations. Troubleshooting this issue boils down to recognizing common issues early. Before starting any ADOS calibration, look at what ADOS features the customer's vehicle has. Sometimes ADOS systems and features could be optional or even switched off by customers. So there's no sense in trying to calibrate a sensor that's not even used or even there on select models. Before starting the calibration procedure, make sure the cameras are clean. Newer models have cameras in the windshield, C-pillar and trunk. Wipe down the cameras to avoid any problems with calibration. Most ADOS features remain inactive until the vehicle reaches a certain speed. For instance, lane departure assistance is usually engaged only when the vehicle surpasses 25 miles per hour. That said, after a calibration, a test drive will be needed before handing over the keys to the customer. Just driving the vehicle out of your bay and moving it to a parking spot will not typically trigger the vehicle to activate ADOS features. The first step in guaranteeing the correct operation of ADOS post-calibration is to examine the sensors and components of the vehicle for any signs of damage. Other areas to assess include the short and long range sensors, position behind the bumper covers or front air dams. In some cases, removal of the bumper cover may be necessary for a thorough inspection. You should also check the dashboard for warning lights or messages. Such lights may not solely indicate engine issues, but could signify communication loss with various vehicle modules. Missing data can disrupt ADOS calibrations, and in the presence of warning lights, retrieving all codes from the modules is recommended for a comprehensive diagnosis. When performing an alignment, the steering angle sensor should be reset. Failing to reset the sensor might cause steering pull and issues with the electric power steering system, and could make the vehicle think something in the opposing lane is coming right at them. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Grass Studio at Babcock's Media. See you later.